when I first saw the new Outlander, the Eclipse Cross, first thing I thought was, wow, the styling is dramatically different. The Eclipse Cross, the front end, uh, has never been a problem for the Eclipse Cross, but the front end looks uh, way more tough, way more muscular, way more sporty. Uh, the new back end, especially with the rear spoiler, looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, I love the new lighter gray leather interior uh, on the Eclipse Cross that's available. In terms of the Outlander, um, it's a substantially bigger looking car. Uh, the exterior makes it look a lot more like a expensive British SUV. And I think I'm not supposed to say what which one that is, uh, but uh, you know, definitely high class interior. The fit and finish of the the seats are amazing. The equipment is amazing. I mean, it definitely brings us up and lets us compete with CRV, Rav4, Forester. I mean, people will be able to compare the Mitsubishi and not feel ashamed at all uh, when comparing because it actually seems like our car is a lot better. That's great. That's great. Um, how would you describe the interior of the new Outlander? Uh, the interior of the new Outlander is stunning. I mean, when you looked at the Engelberg Tour concept, uh, it looked like a lot of really cool things were coming, and the interior looks a lot like the Engelberg Tour. I mean, it definitely high scale um, interior finishes, the big screen. I mean, everyone wants big screens in the center of the dash. Uh, the new Outlander has it. Uh, the seats are extremely comfortable, extremely supportive. Uh, memory seats just options and features we've never had in a Mitsubishi. And it was just really fun to see some uh, awesome features. Uh, I like the fact that the visors even extend on the side. So if you're driving down the highway, you can actually block out that sun. I've always wanted that in my Outlander and I'm excited to see that that's actually made it to production. When you think about direct competitors, how do you think the new Outlander stacks up against others in that segment? Well, compared to other competitors, the other competitors just look boring. Uh, the, the floating roof line of the Outlander, the aggressive front end, the LEDs, I mean, everything makes it look like it's much nicer than what it is. And a Honda CRV just looks like a Honda, uh, where the Outlander looks like a much more premium vehicle. And as long as the pricing comes in, what they're talking about, uh, people are going to get a lot of value for their money. Um, how significant are the changes to Eclipse Cross? And how much do you think this will change the number of vehicles you can sell and how you sell them? Well, I mean, the, the styling of the, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the changes to the Eclipse Cross, I think, are going to change uh, the sales rate quite a bit, uh, just because the number one concern people had was the styling. The number one thing people love with the Eclipse Cross is the styling. So the good thing is, is Mitsubishi didn't screw up how, what looked great with the Eclipse Cross. I mean, they actually made the front end look even better. Uh, the biggest concern people had was the split rear window that made it look like the Honda Insight or the Toyota Prius or any other competitor. Uh, where now it looks more like a fastback design. Uh, it definitely makes it look more like a luxury coupe SUV. And uh, I, it, it removes the obstacle to, I don't want an SUV with a split rear window. It's one solid window. It looks great, particularly with that spoiler in the back. And uh, I, I think it removes the obstacle or the objection to someone buying that car. What would you tell other Mitsubishi dealers that can't be here? What's the one message you want them to take away? You know, for dealers that couldn't be here today, uh, get excited. There's a lot of really cool products coming from Mitsubishi. The enhancements to the design, the fact that in the next six months, six to 12 months, all of our cars will have a fresh face uh, is a great story. And uh, I think with our reliability ratings, particularly with all the JD Power news and whatnot, uh, we have a really great value story. Our cars have a great quality and they st they're starting to look really amazing. So I would say get excited because I think we're going to start selling some new cars.